Star Report. I'm your host, Star. Folks, it is Friday evening, and I've got a few topics to discuss. All right. Starting out with Kobe Bryant's father um, auctioning his 2000 NBA championship ring. Okay. Now, this is not Kobe's ring, this is a replica that Kobe ordered for his parents. Okay. And most of you should know the story. Kobe Bryant had a very um, tense relationship with his mother and father. Many reports have said that they were not pleased with him marrying someone other than a, a black female. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, over the years, a lot of tension. And, um, you know, when Kobe died, I'm not sure, or maybe you guys can re refresh my memory, did he have a will? Did he leave anything to his parents? His parents were trying to auction off a lot of his memorabilia back in 2013. And then they took it off the market because they kind of worked things out. But I'm not sure this is a bad thing for his father now to auction off his ring from uh, the year 2000, his first championship ring. But again, this is not the one that I'm sure Vanessa has, Kobe's wife. Okay, this is a replica. What say you, okay? And also, um, I do want to talk about um, Kobe Bryant uh, being from Philadelphia. Most people don't. Does Philly claim him? I know he moved to Italy when he was six years old and then moved back to the States when he was 13 or something like that. But Philly doesn't, you know, embrace him as much as I think they should. Anyway, phone lines open early. Also, guys, my showrunner. Let me take a sip here. It's Friday night. I don't want to get too deep, but uh, did Putin reveal Jesus was a black man? It's in my community section. There is a video and there's uh, information. If you know your history, if you know your Bible or, or your Lord and Savior Jesus, as so many people claim. OK, did Putin reveal that Jesus was a black man? Um, I spoke to uh, the homie King Simon earlier. I mean, I can reach out to Captain Tazariak because the 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 history that Putin and what Russia is revealing by way of their vaults, their vaults. It has been suppressed for hundreds of years, you know, um, and the timing now is very, very real. Putin just got reelected, in case you don't know, for another eight years to be the president of Russia. And it, this works to um, to their advantage in terms of where they are with the, I don't want to say the war in Ukraine. I mean, if you ask me, that they're just giving Ukraine some straightening. <laughs> some straightening. But Putin and his, um, his staff are directly talking about uh, Israel and the West, us here in America, as to why they are opening up these vaults now. What say you? What say you? Now, I've got a, a different uh, showrunner that I want to bring out here because I just wanted to put that on the table, but um, I did uh, speak to the homie white boy Rory. Uh-oh, you better call in before Rory calls. Let me just say that, black man. Oh, he says, let's go, big dog. Okay. Black man, black man, where do you want to chime in, if at all? I did Putin reveal Jesus was a black man? Now, the showrunner that I want to, I'll put on the screen and talk about our pets more precious than family. <laughs> our pets more precious than family. Can I get an amen early uh, from pet lovers in the live chat? Boy, boy, if, if it comes for me, for me, if it comes down to my one of my pets, I mean, I don't have pets anymore. I, I have squirrels and birds and backyard and stuff like that but if it you know in the past when it came down to my pet having a cough and a family member family member needing five thousand ten thousand for bail you better believe i'm taking that dog to the vet first to make sure he or she doesn't have pavo or something some type of hairball <laughs> our pets more precious than family okay all right, but um, my, my main focus, again, Kobe Bryant's father, um, uh, D -D -D Joe Jelly Bean Bryant, for those who don't know. Yeah, putting the ring up for auction. And um, only $94,000 is the top offer right now. 
$94,000, okay? And the bidding is uh, only going until March the 30th. Until March the 30th. What say you? Is this a way for Kobe Bryant's father to just, you know, just move on with his life? I don't know if he's sick. Uh, maybe he just doesn't even want to, to, to deal with the whole, you know, he and Vanessa and, and the grandkids. And, and I'm not going to kick Vanessa Bryant's back in because Kobe loved her. Um, to my knowledge, they had a, you know, a, a, a union that worked. She stuck with him. <laughs> Once upon a time, you know what happened in, out there in Colorado. I'm not going to bring all that back up. She stuck with him. You know? That was his true love. And I don't know even what the details were with regards to why his mother and father didn't go to his wedding. Damn. Either way, what are your thoughts? Kobe Bryant's father putting the NBA championship ring up for auction, okay? Gangs of Love, I see you early, sir. Do you want to cam up? I'd like to get a panel discussion going this evening. Uh, okay, he says drop the link. Okay, let's get to it early. Let's get to it early tonight. And um, I may invite some other people on the show this evening. Um, I see you guys on the phone. Sit tight. Let me just... Set up and get situated here. Monster the Animal, I got your donation. He says, oh, okay, I'm, I'm digging your outfit store. Yes, sir. Hell figure. You know what it is, man. Huh? And the classic throwback. Uh, oh, he says, but you ain't wearing it right. <laughs> That's a Harlem nigga right there. That's what they always say. Yeah, yeah, you know, I had that last year. But, you know, it look all right on you. <laughs> um, hey, Penelope, thank you for your donation. Okay, okay. Something else I have to ask you. Let, let me just take a sip and, and really think this through before, before I ask this, because um, the war on mammies continues. But I lost two battles this week. The war continues, but I lost two battles this week. Two mammies killed me with kindness. Well, they didn't kill me. I mean, like, you know, knock me down. Boom, boom. You know? Earlier today, give me a second, I'll tell you all about it. Oh, okay, okay, gotta get my head right, gotta get my head right. Um, a little bit later, I want to ask you the question, is the black woman God? Oh. Why does she have the ability to make you hate her fucking guts and her, her existence? And then have that same ability... To make everything oh so right. <laughs> it's the black woman God. Later on, she's got some type of power over, over mankind and others. Uh, other women, other cultures want to be her. Yes, no? Other cultures want to be her. But they hate her. And she makes them hate her. A little bit later, okay? Okay, uh, Gangs of Love, I see you in the... Uh, in the back room there, sir. Just hang on a second. Hold okay. Oh, Florida Boy J, where are you? Oh, he says, send the link. Well, where are you? Florida Boy J, send me the email. Let's get that panel discussion going early. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, we have to talk about Kobe Bryant, man. Is his father out of pocket? Huh? Hold on. Uh, tonight's tonight's link. Cam. Cam up. Uplink. Okay, Florida Boy J, check your email, check your email, okay? Let's get Gangs of Love in here early. Good to see you, man. Gangs of Love. Big OG star, what up with you, homie? Okay, okay. Uh, how, How's your volume? I want to be able to hear you. Can, can you hear me? I can hear yeah. you. There you go, there you go. All right, so tell people where you're tapping in from, for, for those who don't know who you are. What state? Uh, I live in Nebraska. Um, I'm from California, but... I live in Nebraska. Okay. But, you know, Nicaragua, as I call it. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you're not just in any closet. You're in the closet in the house that you own, you and your wife, right? People seem to keep trying to take shots. Yo, he in the closet. You own the house. I I'm paying mortgage on it, Star. I ain't got it like you where I ain't got a mortgage free, but I do pay a mortgage, yep. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in my closet chilling <laughs> in the chill spot. <laughs> With the Black Panther, you, you see, you see the Black Panther. Nice, nice, nice. 
so f- for your uh for your topic, uh, I was a huge Kobe Bryant fan. I still am. Okay. And uh, I remember his quote tumultuous relationship that he had with his father, yeah. but. Uh, at some point they were patching it up because Kobe would run um, basketball camps and his father would be there. So they did have a relationship. Um, As far as his father selling the quote replica ring, I think what happened is, is that uh, once Kobe passed away, he probably didn't have a will and had his parents in it because he, he was taking care of his family at some point. He had a, that was their first falling out. He had bought them a house Mm -hmm. and then she wanted a bigger house. So she started selling his merchandise. When you say she, you mean his mother, correct? His mother, he was, and then they ended up going to court. So I guess they fell out to a certain extent, but I think what happened after Kobe passed, his wife got all his assets. So therefore his soulmate, his soulmate, my nigga. Yep. His wife, his what is it three or four kids Mm -hmm. so his father and his mother they probably have a a home that they paying on with an eight thousand dollar mortgage a twenty five hundred dollar light bill water bill and everything that comes with it and you got to remember that's his son so he doesn't have a a physical attachment to something that's tangible like a ring because that's his son he don't he don't care about a ring so he's thinking hey i could probably get two three four million for well, now, it hang, hang on hang on i have to ask are you speculating because you said you're a kobe bryant fan i don't want to just assume his parents are greedy i mean kobe did allude to that on social media years ago he said uh h- how much can you give 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 um so, so did he buy them a home or did he mortgage a home you you referenced a home so that I don't know for sure, but I do know he put his mom and father in a home and it was a certain amount, but his mom, if I'm not mistaken, wanted a bigger home. So when he wouldn't put up the rest of the money, that's when she began to auction off his jersey and okay. some of his other stuff that she had from high school. So then he followed suit and then they came to some kind of agreement behind closed doors that we don't know how Hold they up. settled it. Hold up. Now, did it? Did it ever get to quote unquote court or did they go through the uh, deposition phase? Because if they would have done depositions, I'm sure we would have seen some type of uh, recordings. Did it even get that far? It didn't. It got stopped before it went that far. They okay. settled. That. Okay. So, so he worked it out with his loving parents. And for those who don't know, Kobe Bryant, uh, born August the 23rd, 1978, uh, the youngest of three, tr- the youngest of three children, pardon me. Um, and, and the only um only boy, so he's got two older sisters. You know, I don't know what that relationship uh, ha- has been about o- over the years. But now, let me ask you this: um, Was he ever in business with his father? His father and mother gave him life. Yes, yes. And according to Kobe, he was giving, giving, giving. But were were they in any type of business together? All that black mamba stuff and the sneakers and the, were they in business together? They had a foreign basketball team over in Italy. Him and his father are, or well, Kobe's gone, but they have a basketball team over in Italy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Have somebody look that up. I- I'm sure of that. Well, so, sir, you got a laptop in front of you. Nigga, look at Friday <laughs> night. I- I'm in the closet. I ain't got nothing in front of me but some clothes and shoes. <laughs> oh, hold on. Stay there. Florida Boy J, let's go. We're getting a panel on the screen tonight. FBJ, I just sent you the link. Uh, Blade, I got your cash up. Hold on a second. Uh, Gangs of Love. Um, Okay, Blade says, now we know the real reason. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for your donation, Blade. Thank you for your donation, Blade. Um, Okay, so at this point in time right now, the the highest bid is $94,000. Yeah, that's that's not a lot. You think about he selling that ring, he was probably anticipating on getting two or three million, and then if you put it in the auction, I'm pretty sure that's 25%. Maybe not. Maybe not. You don't think? Well, to be objective, maybe Kobe's father wants to just wash his hands. Hey, I I, I loved my son, but the relationship was a wash. Um, I want to let go of everything. I I want to die in peace. I don't know if if his father, again, is sick, if he just maybe he's going through a depression. Sometimes people just want to get away from. Uh, 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 memorabilia, items, family, and I can understand that. A- any thoughts about that? Maybe his father wants to just, you know, move on. 
Yeah, I, I mean, again, that's his son. So, was his he, son? Was that, that what? Well, it still is his son. He's passed away, but it still is his son. But I get you. Uh, I just ask. I don't know. Yeah, y- you got to think, Star. If somebody gives you something, do you really have a, a attachment to it, knowing that it's gonna still be here when you die, regardless? So it's it's just the tangible. You know, you've heard the saying, you can't take anything with you once you go to the grave. Ain't no hearse pulling up. So he's got a million memories. He's got stories that we'll never know about. So he right, don't need right. a ring. Okay. Like basketball ring don't represent the relationship he had with his son. Okay. Uh, showrunner, Gangs of Love, uh, are pets more precious than family? Your Absolutely. Family. Absolutely. My cat that I just had in here, I love her. I got a dog downstairs that I love. And outside of my mom, my wife, and my kids, everybody else, fuck them, if I can say that. Excuse me. Well, we'll but, try, uh, try not to drop that type of f bomb. It's my bad. I apologize. Not to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nah, my my cat, I love her. Uh, I love my dog, and I treat them just like um humans for the most part. I cater yeah. to them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're kids, and and uh. When I get laid to rest one day, I want to have my dog and my cat cremated and put in the coffin with me. So okay. I'm going out like an Egyptian. Hang on a second. Um, Lance, I sent you the link if you want to chime in. Lance, okay. Um, David, I got your um, email. Yes, folks, I know about Candace Owens being fired. You can call in if you like. Did Candace Owens get her nigga wake up call? Is she being canceled? I don't know. I like Candace Owens. <laughs> I, I like her spunk, her fire, you know. Um, she's got a, a past we all do, but I like her. I, I, I don't want to see her just go down in flames. And and she's already promoting her website. Uh, is, is it CandaceOwens.com? I'll promote her her platform. And she's she's uh she's she's married. She's got the, is it three kids? Do you know Gangs of Love? Do you know Candace Owens? I am not a Candace Owens fan. Uh. To well, I'm me, nobody's fan, but I'm just saying, do you know anything about her, Candace Owens? I don't know much about her other than she represents the Republican Party and she talks down a lot on black people. She's married to a white dude. With- well, so do I. I mean, with so <laughs> I'm, I'm not married, but, you know, yeah, I'm conservative. I have both conservative and, and, and black. Yeah. Well, it's not talking down on black people to just to, to just uh, try and dehumanize them. But, you know, you have to uplift people. Yeah, but she's right, sorry. pandering to people that um already have negative thoughts about FBA. You know, she was talking real bad about George Floyd when he passed away, about how he was a a drug fanatic. And he was, he, sir. He was. <laughs> they are star, but you got to have some kind of cooth about when you speak about the dead. I mean, I I get it. She's entitled to her opinion. George George Floyd was dancing like Gator from what was that movie? <laughs> Intro Babies was it Jungle Fever? He was doing the jig. Like fucking gator, <laughs> but before you know, uh, hang on a second. Uh, eight one eight. Good evening. It's Friday night. Are you there? Eight one eight. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm laughing at you talking about gator. <laughs> <laughs> you know the well, good reverend doctor took the air gator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, he did. But now, hang on, is that Jungle Fever? Was that the right film? Yes, that was. Yeah. Yes, that was. Introducing Halle Berry. Mm, let's go. Come on. Oh, what's your name, darling? Good evening. I'm Valencia. I'm in Antelope Valley, California. Nice. What do you want to chime Yeah, in? I'm feeling sorry about the Kobe ring. I wasn't a Kobe fan. I was a Laker fan before Kobe came to L.A., but I understand what's going on with the parents and you know, I think the parents are still estranged from Vanessa and the kids. And it's just a tragedy. And I don't like to see it. You know, I don't like to see it. I, I don't like to think that they would sell something so special to um, I only have one son. So I would never do it to him, you know. Can I ask, how old are you? How old do you do? I'm 50. And I'm not a mammy. I'm an auntie out here. Okay. Well, well, listen, I mean, I, I don't have any biological kids, so I can't necessarily say what I would or wouldn't do. But I, I can be cold hearted as hell. And if if I had a son who I just he and I couldn't get on the on the right page and he died, you know, yes, I would be sad, broken hearted. But but if there was just no chance of uh, reconciling the relationship with his 
uh, wife who who's out here getting it. She's doing all sorts of deals and shit. I might have to, might have to just wash my hands. I wouldn't say fuck hey, I feel I wouldn't, that too. I feel that too. I wouldn't say fuck him because I helped create him, but I would wash my hands, get rid of the ring, and just move on. Your thoughts on that? Yes. Are you there? Are you there? I feel you. I, I do feel that. And, you know, I don't blame Kobe at all because he found him a wife and he put her first. He put his family first. That's what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I wish that, you know, people would respect their privacy because it is just a family issue. And this is just for entertainment, really. We don't need to know that this is what's going on. No, we need to know everything. Don't, don't start that old shit. No, we, we, want, we want the tea, guys. The man is dead. The man is yeah, dead. Yeah. Well, we, listen, you know what I'm we, no, we want the tea. A ring is being sold. I'm here. I'm here. You know, <laughs> clout chasing for, click, you... for clicks in the whole nine. Don't come in here talking about nah, nah. <laughs> let it go. Fuck that. Now, hold on a second. Hey, uh, hold on. You're a woman of a certain age. I think you and I spoke before. I'm not sure. Um, I have spoke to you before. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so you are a woman with knowledge, goddamn. On that screen, showrunner, did Putin reveal Jesus was a black man. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, he sure did do that unexpectedly. He didn't mean to do it. Oh, I beg to differ. He 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 pulled out the cannon and laid out all of the 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 the, the literature and and the pictures of the Israelites. You know, he meant to do. It. What are you talking about? Did you did you really see the video? You know, I was in fellowship with the Israelites this morning. I was looking, but I didn't really pay attention to oh, that. Okay. Uh, okay. Or I just saw the pictures, you oh, know. Okay. Okay. And I was, you know, Putin. Come on, I mean, he. I don't think he's trying to hide the truth about Jesus being a bronze man with uh wool uh wool hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, Putin is no liar. He's straight to the point, cutthroat. So. Yeah. I mean, why not put that out? Okay, okay, okay. You know, he's not a Biden. Biden would have hid that for a hundred more years. Putin, he like, hell no, nah, them is my brothers. He got brothers that's black look like to me. I mean, he cool with Africa. He not trying to I think you're going someplace else, dear. I mean, he 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 did he brought everything out. You can see the videos. I, I listened. Because he doesn't. I'm gonna go check him out. Yeah, he doesn't speak English, but uh, you know, just I, I just wanted to ask that. I, I don't want to get too deep tonight, but I appreciate your call. Anything else you want to say? And did I hear you say you were not a Kobe fan, but you rode with the Lakers, huh? Yeah, I'm a, a Van Exel Eddie Jones fan. You gotta be old enough. You gotta be anti age to understand what I'm saying. You understand? No, I hear what you're saying, but but listen, girl, listen. Come on, come on, come on, Kobe kept the legacy alive a three-peat huh i was living right here in la county when all of that stuff happened i was yeah. on the plane with the lakers i'm talking about worthy and magic and all yeah, of them yeah yeah i, I was I, a little I, hurt can, i can go back to bob mcadoo and all all that all that all that but kobe the three-peat he got five rings for the lakers what is he talking about i wasn't about? really paying attention oh okay, okay. yeah i wasn't paying attention okay Good to talk to you, dog. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Star. Bye, bye, dear. Bye. <laughs> what? Listen, they ain't drinking my shit. Boy J, big nigga, let's go, man. Blood boy J. Yo. We are real nigga time tonight, man. Thank you for tapping in. You are the president of the Real Nigga Network, yes? Yeah, yeah. The president of the Real Nigga Network. You know how we do it. Black Americans being real, keeping it real. All the time, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a privilege to be a real nigga because you're not born with it. You know what I'm saying? You have to become a real nigga and you have to be uh put on by other real niggas to co-sign you. So I'm just happy that uh I'm running the real, real nigga shit. network here. Salute. Said some real nigga shit. Hey man, um, so Kobe Bryant's father selling the uh the the, the replica ring that was uh Kobe Bryant's um First NBA championship, the year 2000. Um, what, what is it that we need to know about the relationship or anything about his uh, mother and father's health, uh, bills? Why is this becoming a thing now, again? I mean, you pretty much covered it as far as their strained relationship. But for the main point, <clears throat> what you understand is, regardless if their relationship was good or not, his family has a history of selling his memorabilia even when he was alive. 
So it's not like he had to pass away in order for them to decide to sell some of his belongings off. They were already doing it. He was alive. Number one. Number two, Jelly Bean Bryant was a former NBA player and played overseas. Right. right. So I don't believe that his family uh, are in poverty or if they are is self-inflicted. Kobe Bryant didn't come from a household from the hood. Kobe Bryant didn't come from a household from even a middle-class family. Right. He came from a privileged background. Yeah. So if his parents, his family get to a point of financial despair, there is nobody blame but their own. Kobe Bryant would be the type of individual that, you know, his parents are called by, hey, Kobe, you know, you can send an extra 20000 30000 Kobe Bryant type nigga be like, hey, we got the same 24 mom and pops and hang up. You know what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant is a hard worker. He doesn't really or he didn't really um, have a soft spot for weakness or a soft spot for people saying what they couldn't do or what mm. uh, what their limitations were. So even him, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 bankrolling his family's lifestyle would go against what he stood for as a person. Yeah. And to compound that. Yes, you gave me life. You were the man. Now I'm the man. Act according. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And to compound that fact, uh, like you said, it wasn't Kobe Bryant's 2000 championship ring. It was the replica. It was one that he had made. Replica. Yeah. Yeah. Like all, that, most that, players, it was for the, the 2000 season. That's what I'm, I've got here by way of um, Sports Illustrated and other sources. Absolutely. And the thing about it is, like we said before, if – um, Kobe Bryant's passed away. They have some memorabilia, and you can get ninety thousand. You get, you know, uh, you know, uh, one hundred twenty-five thousand for it. Sell it. I would sell it. I don't see anything wrong with it. Mm. Um, if he didn't leave his parents, or even leave something in the will for his parents, so what? I don't want to hear no Doctor Umar. I don't want to hear no Hotep oh. nigga come on the line talking about this. Will have we marry outside your race? And 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 she keeps the bag. No, the problem is if your parents are not financially savvy to sustain their wealth and the things that you have given them over the years. That's not Kobe Bryant's fault. And that's not Vanessa Bryant's responsibility to make sure his parents eat because she cut the, she cut the water off on her own mama. So what are that's we really talking fact. about? <laughs> she a gangster. So what are we really talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on. D didn't Vanessa Bryant's mother sue her or she sued her mother? How'd that go down? I forget. Her mother tried to sue her when it like 90, she wanted, I think like, uh, uh, like six hundred dollars an hour for back child support. Wanted a car. Wanted a home. Everything. And her and Vanessa Bryant countersued. And one was like, you know, you're not getting this Kobe Bryant bag just because it, it, you gave me life, but you're doing too much, right? And just because Kobe made sure oh, you was eating, and, and and just because Kobe made sure you was eating when he was alive, don't mean I'm gonna make sure you eating when he gone. Right. 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 So I, I stand ten toes with her. She keeping the same energy with, with his parents that she kept with her parents. At the end of the day, that money should go towards his daughters and their legacy. You old niggas had your time. Y'all got the same mm. 24. Gangs of Love, jump in there. You, you're a, a Kobe fan. That's what you said, yes? Gangs of Love, yes, no, maybe. Where's Gangs of Love? So, sir, why are you on the screen if you're not talking? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can't hear you. That nigga, that nigga was asleep. That nigga was asleep. Hold on. That nigga was asleep. Yeah. <laughs> now he on mute. Now he on mute. Hold yeah, on. Hold, hold back, man. I, I didn't mute you. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so so Florida boy J. Okay, so um, I was asking if um uh, Van well has Vanessa responded or is she just not even paying them any attention to the to the ring being? And she dropping new mambas. She dropping mamba cedars. She cashed out on that body armor check. Nigga, she ain't got time to deal with you, you Aggie broke niggas. Mm. She ain't never had time to deal with you Aggie broke niggas fumbling your own bag, fumbling your own son. You should have played nice in 2000, in 2001 when I married him. Now you're trying to double back. It's just uh, Vanessa telling you to sell all that. Sell the jersey, sell the ring. We getting <laughs> Nike check money right here. We don't give a damn. And don't call my phone for no handout. Salute to Vanessa Bryant, a real queen. A real queen holding down a black man's fortune. Because if he married a black woman, check him, check him. I, if Kobe would have married a black woman, we wouldn't be getting no 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 new Kobe's coming out. We wouldn't be getting uh uh nothing. The black woman, if if Kobe would have married her, would have fumbled the bag, tarnished his legacy, and, and trash all of his uh, uh future earnings after life. Thank God for this. Whoa whoa whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are you going? Because I was just about to bring a call in tonight. You're kicking in the backs. Of black women, but a couple of weeks ago you were riding with uh, the black women. I'm confused now. 
I go from case to case, subject to subject. If in one scenario the black woman is right, we riding. If one situation, hypothetically, I thought the black woman would not be right or should be wrong or she could not handle her business right, the right, way right. Vanessa Bryant or other non-black women would have handled their business, I'm going to speak on it. I'm going to kick their backs in. Okay. Who's to say, get a black woman on here, and if she got hey a problem, she can Hold cam up thought. too, nigga. Hold that thought. Area code 404. Good evening. Are you there? 404. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, boss nigga. Yes, sir. Big nigga, Pooh Nasty. What, um, boss man, did Putin reveal Jesus was a black man? I don't think he revealed it, but I think he put it on a platform. I think we all knew that, 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 that. Did he, you see the video, Pooh Nasty? Uh, did you see the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, not on uh, my bad. Th thank you, Poonas. I, I don't like that goofy ass unk shit. He already said it twice. Let's get him the fuck out of here, man. I spoke to him before, man. My name is Star, nigga. Take take that weirdo unk shit someplace else, man. That shit, Bob. Yo, unk, yo, unk, yo, unk. Uh, nine five four. No, pardon me. Three two three. Good evening. Are you there? Three two three. Yeah, I'm here with you, man. Yes, sir. How are you? It's cracking. Uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, I just wanted to call in talk about this uh this beam situation. This man, uh, I was just, from my point of view, man, I was just thinking, like, you know, as, as men, we all have responsibilities. We all know that. We got families to take care of, mom, dad, wife, kids. So, as a man, I was just putting myself in his shoes. Like, if, if I went to the NBA, did my thing, got paid, got my son through, you know, high school, got him into becoming a draft pick, the dad came out and did his part. Maybe... You know, the, the son and him didn't see eye to eye. Maybe they, you know, everything didn't agree on everything. But ultimately, he did what he had to do as a man, took care of his son, got his son to where he needed to be. Now, his responsibility and what's left on his plate is his wife. They're, they're an older couple. I'm sure they got medical bills. I'm sure they, you know what I mean? Like, the, the income that they're making is probably not enough to sustain the type of lifestyle that they got accustomed to over the years. So... He's really in a position where, you know, selling Kobe stuff is, if he really needs the money, I mean, yeah, it's your well, stuff. Well, hang on a second, sir. Are you a Kobe fan? Do you know the details? I am here? the biggest Kobe fan. I am the biggest Kobe fan. And it does suck that they're in this situation. But you got to get out of fandom. You got to get out of feelings and, and think of things as, cause we're, you know, if you're a man or a woman, you should put yourself in their position. Right. If you don't have the money and your son has left you with these amazing, you know, accolades and, and trophies and things of that nature that you could sell for a few million and man, go for it. And, and, and personally, I really do think if Kobe Bryant, if the shoes were flipped, let's say Kobe was struggling and he had one of his daughters. Yeah. Go for it, man. These are your kids. You raised them. You put your, your sweat and tears into these kids. So you have some type of right to, to, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. In my culture, we take care of our parents and we make sure that they're good. Can you tell us your culture, sir? What might that be? What is your culture? I'm Somalian. I'm Muslim. Okay. So we we are literally known like the kids are the retirement plan for the kids. All the Can kids I ask the call a question? That. Yeah. You Florida, know? Florida Boy Jay, you want to ask him a question? Can you hear him? Yeah, you said you're the biggest, yeah. you're a big Kobe fan, right? Uh, uh, just two questions. Uh, can you tell me the points he scored game four against the Kings and how many points he scored game Man. one the following game against what, what the, the Spurs in the 2001 NBA playoff run? Just those two numbers. What he scored in game four versus the Kings and game one versus the uh, Spurs. Let, let me speak. know. Let him speak for it, but let him speak. In, in 2001, I was like seven years old, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I do not know that. Well, you're but, not the biggest Kobe fan because I was eight and I can tell you. Jesus. FBJ hate and and <laughs> and on top of that, Kobe's Kobe's fandom and Kobe's range. I don't think you realize goes beyond uh, uh, just basketball. So even if I don't know those stats, that does not mean I'm not a Kobe fan. And on top of that, right. trust me, I know stats. I know enough about basketball. I watch basketball on a daily basis. But asking somebody the stats to prove that they're a Kobe fan is crazy. You, you, you said is, you was the biggest, is, is, so I just I just thought you would, uh, you know, I, if you're a casual Kobe fan, just, you know, it's, it's okay to say that. I just want to know if you knew some stats, but it's all I'm good. I'm just telling you, I'm telling you, I am telling you, I'm asking you, I am a Kobe fan. I don't have those stats. I was too young, but you can't ask people for Kobe stats to prove they're, if they're Kobe fans or not, because... Yeah, I can. Or 
his aura has extended past basketball in itself. There's there's people that are just flat out businessmen that are inspired by Kobe that know nothing about basketball. Okay. All right, now hang, hang on a second, Floyd Boy J, hold on. All right, so so I, I want to pull this back into his father selling the uh the the replica ring for the 2000 season. Um, I, I don't know uh, the, his and his wife's finances. You know, maybe maybe right. maybe they just want to share something with other people. I have sold okay. gold and platinum plaques over the years. I've even given some away. I, I've got too many, to be honest with you. I've got like close to 300 when I worked at the record labels and some from the radio era as well. But I give them away. I, I gave Dana a Beyonce plaque. It's not about always having to keep something because you know you, you you need a dollar or something. Does that make sense? Right. No, I completely understand that. And to that, what I would say is, if that was the case, if they just want to give it away and they don't need the dollar, then donate it to some type of museum. Do it for charity. Do it for something other than. But I genuinely feel like they need this money. Got you. Like it in itself, the backlash of the embarrassment. Like if you were good on money, you wouldn't do this. Got like, you. Okay. If, if it was personal, they would have sold his stuff for charity or something. Good point. Good point. I appreciate the call, man. You know? Thank you. Thank you. No problem, man. Y'all have okay. a good one. All right. You too. I don't know what happened to um, Gangs of Love. He was back on the screen, and then he disappeared. Maybe his Wi-Fi or something is not working. Uh, did Putin reveal Jesus was a black man? That's one of my showrunners. And also, are pets more precious than family? Do you have pets, uh, Florida Boy Jay? Um, absolutely not. My parents didn't play that whole, we got a dog, we got a cat, we got a turtle game. Uh, never had a pet, never dated a woman with pets that I allowed to move in my space. Damn. So the whole pet argument, um, I really can't get with it. I've always going to pick a family member over a pet only because I never had them. And the times I've been around them, I couldn't see investing in buying something that doesn't get smart enough to take care of its own self and then passes away in 12 to 15 years, and now I'm devastated. I might as well have a kid with a crackhead. S say no more. <laughs> Gangs of Love, you're back, sir. How's your Wi-Fi now? Okay, we should be good. Can you hear me? Okay, we can hear you, man. We've been talking about Kobe. Can you hang on a second? People are sending in donations. Crime Skills, do you want to tap in, sir? Where's Crime Skills? If not, I will... Um, Get, get you on the screen. Crime skills, are you there? Good evening. Area code 954. Crime skills. Can you hear me now? Is you hear me clearly? <laughs> are you there? Is this crime skills? 954. Yes, sir. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, man. How are you? It's been a while since we've spoken. I'm here, man. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stay on the low, but you know. When I see you, when, when I see you got the topic of President Putin, the great dropping a, a bomb, I said, no, 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 no. I got to call in. I got to call in. How you been, though? I'm, I'm great, man. Now, listen, I'm not trying to do too much of a deep dive tonight unless other people like yourself want, want to take it there. I mean, it, it, this, <laughs> this story has been picking up traction, but the... Western, uh, uh, you know, media here is not really talking about it. Did you see him and and his um his staff bringing out the the iconic artwork of the Israelites? Well, uh, well, uh, the Western media can ignore it all they want. I've, I've been had that video since last year. Yeah. That video is actually old. I've had I, I have that video. I yes. actually posted that that video. Yes, I posted that video. The the. I posted it the, the the I think the 12th the 19th of yes. December of last it's year. It's old, but the knowledge. Ha, hang on. Yeah. It, it's old, but the knowledge has not picked up the traction I thought it would over the months. So here we are now on a Friday night. So can you answer the question, sir? Did Putin reveal Jesus was a black man? A thousand, and it's only the Edomites that could tell black people that he's actually. That's how we look. They're not gonna. If I told, if I tell them this, they wouldn't believe me. So, it's the time we're living in. It's the time we're living in. You know what I mean? And it's powerful. That for me, I think it's like the most important uh, event of 2024. Like real talk. And it's a lot of reason why I'm saying that. You know what I mean? I dig. I study. I study books that they kept out of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But. 
it's powerful. And like I said, I've been had the video way before, way up. Like I laugh at people. I'm like, yo, I've been had this. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been had the video. Well, listen, cr crime skills. I appreciate you. You are a knowledgeable man. But I mean, I I want to get to the to the nuts and bolts of what Putin has done and why he did it. I don't want to just harp on the fact that it's old. The knowledge that he has revealed by way of the Israelites, and he has spoken about the West and and and, and the the Middle East and and the uh, um, I'm I'm gonna say. Uh, though, okay, it's a war, but it's not necessarily an invasion. Can you speak to that about why Putin revealed this artwork and has spoken about the Israelites and so on and so forth? Right on the camera. Well, this is what's going on. There is a internal beef between him and Israel because he 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 hosted Hamas in um I think he was Saint Petersburg maybe two weeks ago. You feel me? So he's not rolling with the um with them people in the land, the, the, them converts. He's not rolling with them. And everybody's upset, including America. So basically what he's doing, he's pissing them off. He's like, all right, y'all keep on playing the games. This is what I'm doing. Because I don't know if you know about it, but there was a but there was a suicide attack. There was a terrorist terroristic um attack um where forty people got killed. Earlier in uh, Russia, that happened in Moscow today. I don't know. Florida boy Jay, go do your thing. Go do your thing, Florida boy Jay. Okay, you were saying. Go ahead. Earlier, earlier there was a um forty people got. There was a terroristic. There was a terrorist attack in in Moscow mm -hmm. that happened earlier today. You feel me? I don't know if you know about it. Forty people got killed and, and stuff like that. And not just that, he he put the LGBT um. Come, uh, movement on the terrorist li list in um in Russia. He placed that. So he has stopped all. On. Hang on a second. He has stopped all LGBTQ plus propaganda in Russia. He has stopped it. Now I, I want to go back. I want to go back. And, and again, I don't want to harp on this unless other people want to join this conversation. But uh, he has revealed artwork from the vaults, the Russian vaults. And I just want to get someone like yourself who is knowledgeable. We've spoken about religion before. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts moving forward? Will this make any type of difference with regards to the Vatican and other, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, teachers of, of uh, religion? Will Putin bringing out this, the, this artwork, authentic artwork from the vaults, will this matter moving forward? It will. It's a major L for the people that's in the, it's described as the worst as the gentile as the worst as the heathen that's in the land it's a major l for israel and the west major l he shouldn't have done that that's actually disrespect he's disrespecting them but he has no fear for them you know what i mean because he, he, he things are going to happen that a lot of people then they 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 they're going to be shocked let's just say that a lot of things are, it's going to happen this year. It's like a woman in travail. You know when a woman, it's time for her to give birth? Right. The whole thing is about to go down just like that. And it's a major L for the West. Okay. It's, it's a major defeat. Okay. That by itself. But it will take time for certain events to come into play. Now, one more thing before I, I, I keep it pushing. Okay. Do you know about the eclipse that's coming up on supposed to go down on the 8th of April? And did you know that yeah, the but, National but, Guard... But hang, hang on a second. Crime skills, I kind of want to stay on topic tonight because we got a bunch of people backed up here. Um, but but if, if we can readdress that another day and, and maybe you and I can catch up because uh, we did speak about the Privy Council in the UK ranting Vibes Cartel his appeal. I do. Are you there, Crime Skills? <laughs> can you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go too far, of course. Not. I want to stay on topic, but uh, let, let's circle back, man. I appreciate your donation. All right, then we go. We go. Where you want me to speak on the Vibes Cartel issue? Well, either Vibes Cartel or or Kobe Bryant. I, I want to keep it. I'm going to try and stay on course as much as I can tonight, as opposed to going to the eclipse and other things. It's a possibility he, he vibes cartel will get out. And um, 
pertaining to Kobe, this is the deal with a lot of black parents. When you move on, when you find yourself a wife, move on, living your life, mm -hmm. they expect you to actually take care of them. That's just, it's not just in the black American community. This right. goes on in the Caribbean, Jamaica also. Right. So right. I kind of, I'm used to, I'm used to things like that. It is what it is with black okay. parents. So, okay. you know what I mean? They got to just move on. It is what it is. He married, he has a family and it is what it is. They ain't not getting nothing. The money ran out, whatever. It's just life. Yeah. They got to deal with that. You know what I mean? Okay. And that's just that. But respectfully though, respect for taking a call. You feel yes, me? Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Good to talk to you. Hey, salute crime skills. I'm going to holler at you on Twitter, All man. Right. Okay. All right. Floor boy Jay, you said something? Yeah, I was uh, saying a uh, piece of crime skills. Me and him be going back and forth on Twitter. Just, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Give him a you know, okay. quick okay. salute. Okay. Gangs of Love, any new information with regards to uh, Kobe Bryant's uh, ring, uh, the replica ring that his father is selling? Uh, not even $100,000 at this point in time, the auction. Since the news has broke, has the, the value gone up? Um, Gangs of Love? Uh, no, actually, you're the first person to tell me the price of it. I actually thought it might have been in the 2.1 million, but when you oh. said replica, you know, I mean, you can go get a replica off the internet, so I don't hey. think uh, anybody really oh, would be paying box. that much for a, a replica ring, especially <laughs> if Kobe didn't wear it, or yeah, you yeah. know, so I don't think I don't know to be honest with you, I don't think anybody's gonna buy it. I mean, well, somebody will buy it, but it's not going to get, you know, top dollar or or maybe uh, the father will take it off of the market. Um, and any statements from from the family uh, thus far, whether it, if, if Vanessa Bryant hasn't said anything, what about um, Kobe's father? Has he given a statement? No. So actually, they both have uh, remained quiet about it. I thought that you probably would hear something from Vanessa's attorney, but. They're thinking, hey, it's a replica ring. It's not, and they already had possession of it before Kobe passed away. So she probably doesn't care. I mean, she's sitting pretty nice. So Places honestly, yeah. uh, but I also was hearing that uh, Shaquille O'Neal at some point was going to purchase the ring and then give it to Vanessa. But I can't uh, confirm that. But I did read that somewhere on TMZ Sports. Are, are you sure? Because Vanessa has Kobe's rings, the rings that he he wore. So, so yeah, she. Why would she Shaq have the original ones? ones? Uh, I'm confused. Well, Shaq was trying to keep the uh, the family intact from not looking um, embarrassed, so to speak. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Like, gotcha. hey, you guys are selling stuff. You know, Shaq and Kobe, oh, they had a uh, on and off relationship, but overall, I think they were pretty good. So Shaq's like, hey. Let me just give you this money. You take the ring and, and keep it moving. Gotcha. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Wicked Hebra, I got your donation, sir. Thank you for tapping in. Um, you okay, Florida Boy Jay? Yeah, you, he can hear me? You can hear me? Yeah, yeah. You, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We good. We good. We good. Hey, um, Rory tapping in. Rory on a Friday night. What's cracking, Rory? Oh, shit. Bob Chiller, man. What's good? What's going oh, on? Kobe Bryant's father getting rid of uh, the, the ring that Kobe gave him uh, from the 2000 uh, championship with the Lakers. Your thoughts? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, he's a goddamn black racist. That's the everybody dancing around it like he's not some sort of racist, you know? The he's father. A black, he's a black American racist. That's mm. what he is, mm. you know? That great ain't nothing wrong with that girl. That girl out of high school, married to her. Yo, where the link at, man? I'm gonna clear him up too. Get okay. out these pussy boys. What's up? Well, send me an email. I'll send you the response, the, uh, the link right now. Email me right All now. Right. All right. I got. Oh shit. Hey, did he say him or them? I, I don't he said, know. He said us. FBJ, what's oh, up? Oh man, cam up. I just said uh, dope man. The link. FBJ. Hey, we we're, we're in two rights, three rights, and made a left, man. We we gonna see. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Uh, Ranger just sent me. Uh, a donation, your star. That outfit is tight. I'm a bite. Word life. Okay, thank you, sir. Hell, figure you already know. Um, hustle. I got your donation. Hold on a second. Uh, star. Apparently, Vanessa Bryant and her family forced Kobe to marry her, or they were going to press charges against him for messing with a 16 year old. Oh, um, I, I don't know about that. Florida boy, any truth to that? Uh, no, there's no confirmed truth to that. Um, as an official Kobe Bryant 
a supporter fan stand whatever you want to call him um we're not going to tarnish uh that man's legacy if we don't have any uh you know official you know uh, uh documents sayings articles links we're not going to tarnish that man's legacy and absolutely well, well, uh, rangers uh hustle just sent it a donation so i mean i i wanted to hear him out he, he's right, he's right. Not, right. No, cool. I, but uh, you know <laughs> oh wait a minute wait a minute full house tonight dope man dope man what up baby what's good with you man it's kind of loud out here where i'm at man you know what i'm saying it's uh it's daytime action over here where i'm at man you know yeah yeah i i, I see how you're moving pimp i see you okay no, no, stop. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't peeing. We, uh, oh, okay. Traveling. Pardon me. <laughs> let me, uh, let me stand up on them niggas, man. What's going on, Star? Yeah, dope man from Hood Box Office, for those who don't know or, or for those who remember. Good to see you, man. Man, I'm, I, hey, man, I know you're going to take care of me, Star, so I wasn't worried about that, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm promoting the hell out of you, man. I've been, I've been damn near doing shout outs so hard. <laughs> Hey, niggas been telling me they seen you, so I mean, I already know what it is. So. Hey, it's kind of loud where you are. Are you going back inside soon? It's, it's kind of yeah, loud. I'm going inside. I'm going inside. What about now? That's a little better. So, so, what, so what's cracking? Talk to us, dope man. I'm not, I'm in. I'm in the 7-Eleven now, star. I'm over. Okay. I'm over in Thailand, man. These niggas over here is doing too much, man. They didn't ran the prices up. They. They really don't know how to act, man. You know, they, you know, I ain't gonna say no names because y'all don't know them, man. But they didn't promote this place as a place to find a wife. So these niggas is falling in line over here. They falling. Well, you, you, you're gang. talking about the passport, bros. You don't have to say anybody's name in particular, but you, you still got your foot on their necks, yes? Oh man, I'm showing, I'm showing up in here like the, uh, what's that boy's name? Secretary of State, man, Anthony Blinken, man. I'm here, mm. man, checking it out, man, saying what's going on, man. Because I was here first, dog. I was here right. first before these right. niggas showed up, man. Then I went to the Philippines. And then while I was gone, these niggas that came here, man, and they tricking and tricking and tricking. And, and these girls don't know how to act, man. And it's just a different vibe, star, man. I mean, I hate you missed yes, the beginning. I mean, you know. Cause you never made it this way. I hate you missing. Yeah, I, I don't really have any any yeah. intention on heading that way, man. But uh, I'm, I'm I'm glad you can do what you do. Appreciate it. It's too late now, though. It's too late, man. They didn't blew up the spot. They on here pretending like they got girlfriends mm. and they really got pros. It's a sad situation, star. These are guys that couldn't get a girl in the states. Now they over here and they walking and they holding hands with a chick that got a hundred thousand miles on them, man. It makes no sense, man. But some of these guys just victim to the game, man, because they was told they were sold a dream, man. They came over here into a nightmare and they jumping off a building star, man. They cutting their throats, man. And so well, well, hang on a second, uh, the dope man. I, w I want I want to come back to you. Stay with me, but I, I want to make sure we stay on topic with regards to uh, to Kobe Bryant. <laughs> um, and, and, are you at the speed, man? Were you ever a Lakers fan or a Kobe fan? Dope man. Man, listen. Can we talk about the poop? Yeah. P -p did, did he reveal Jesus was black? It's in my community section. There's a video. Okay. Yeah. Let me holler about that man. Putin is just showing his gangster man. You know what I'm saying? He's flexing. That's how he do it. He letting them know, nigga. I, not only I got nuclear bombs, nigga. I got the truth. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's the a truth big is play. the light. The truth. That's is a the big light. play on them boys over there in Jerusalem. You know what I'm talking about, and all that other, and the U.S. and all that, man. We just right. gotta see how it come oh, out. Shit. But it's gonna, it's gonna have to, uh, you know, if, if niggas just sit around, these Israelite boys, just sit around, man. The man that gave y'all the green light, and, and you know that's all it is to it, man. But you know, stop cool, man. You know, I don't want to talk about Kobe, man. R.I.P. Kobe. You know. Okay, what well, saying? listen. What, what, what day can I get you back on, on, on the show so you and I can just chop it up, man, for like 20 minutes? Or so what day can I get okay. you on the screen? Nah, this is for perfect, man. This is a commercial break. Okay. Y'all go to Tom Young Laton. That's right. T O M Y U M L E C H O N. Florida Bird J. Florida Bird J, man. You got to come on the show, dog. Hey, for sure, man. Hey, just find, <clears throat> find me on social media. Uh, Florida Bird J. We ain't Twitter. doing all that, man. We ain't doing all that. Yeah, man. Just send me the link. Send me the link. Send me the link. I'll hop on. He knows okay, you, man, Florida Bird J. He knows know. you. Don't, don't try to act Hollywood, big dog. Hey, you the bag changing every day, so I'm going to hop on, man. Send me the link. Okay, Say cause, less. Cause I, I heard I'm you more than talk. happy to hop on, bro. I heard you talk that talk about the passport, bro. That's all, man. Yeah, hey, listen, I'm excited. So just go ahead. Whenever you send me that link, 
We hop it on. We're going to chop man, it up, man. Okay, then. All right. All right. I appreciate the time, dog. Hey, man. Salute, dope, man. Salute. Freeze. Yes, sir. Okay. That's dope, man, from Hood Box Office. He he knows you are, Florida boy. Jay Dope and I talk all the time. You know, hey, for sure. I like I said, I seen uh, I seen him. I've heard him. I've I watched some of his content about passwords, how he's putting boots to the ground. So I would really like to talk to somebody who's really like on the ground zero about the mm -hmm. um, a passport bros and what's going on over there. So most definitely. Hang on a second, guys. Uh, John Flowers, I got your donation, sir. Are you tapping in, John Flowers? He says, salute to the best show on earth. Thank you, John. Okay. All right. So, folks, we are discussing Kobe Bryant's father selling the replica ring given to him by Kobe for the, yeah, sorry, uh, for the 2000 you season. Kobe, Anything Kobe, else that – Florida Boy J, can you put yourself on mute? Put yourself on mute if you're going to be talking. Florida Boy J. Yeah. Um. But we are talking about other topics as well. In my community section, uh, there is a video with uh, Putin, the president of Russia. He has brought out um, art, iconic art with regards to the Israelites, but everybody wants to call in, okay? All right, um, let's go back to you, uh, Gangs of Love. So, so what else is cracking with you uh, this weekend, man? Uh, Gangs of Love is chilling. Gonna uh, just lay low, listen to the Star Report. Spend some time with the wife and kids, and that's it, man. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing special. Okay, um, D David, I'm sending you the link to Cam Up. Okay, check your email, David. Okay, and Tyra, I got your donation as well. Hang on, guys. Tyra says, "Oh, can we smoke on that Candace Owens pack?" Absolutely, for boy Jay, Candace Owens. Uh, you, she's been let go. Do you want to talk about this or what? That is actually one of my topics for my show that I'm going to be doing a little later tonight. Come on. Oh, <clears throat> one thing I, I appreciate about Candace Owens is her strategy. I felt like she knew this was coming when she started getting backlash, start speaking out against some of the white supremacist uh, uh, benefactors that support her and that put her on platform. She's kind of been going back and forth with those people for a few months now. And while she's done that, she's also pivoted towards black media spaces and use people like Rosenberg and other white media people as villains to get herself closer to black people. So when this day came, she could rebrand herself as the spook who sat by the door. Okay. Now, if you're smart enough, you can see it coming. But at the end of the day, Candace Owens needs more support from the black community than we give Sexy Red. Hmm. Well, well, now I saw her uh, on. I, I didn't see the actual interview. I just saw one or two clips uh, with her and Joe Budden. Um, has that interview been released yet? And she was also in the Breakfast Club. I'm not a Breakfast Club <coughs> watcher, but uh, she did stop by there. Uh, you you mentioned Rose and Slob. She actually went on Hot 97. No, no, no. She went at him because. She was oh. talking to Joe Button and other people. Rosenberg right, was like, right, right, yeah. why are y'all talking to Candace Owens? This is that. And Candace Owens was like, right. I'm black American. I can speak to other black Americans in the media without some white small hat overseer having an issue right, with it. Right. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put that on the screen as well. Uh, Candace Owens uh, fired. Uh, basically, they let her go. I don't know all the details. Um, 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 uh, ben Shapiro is saying he did not fire her and then i saw her i think um on on uh, instagram or twitter i'm not sure saying right. she's glad she's out of there i i i believe her it was probably a just a, a tense relationship because she goes hard in the paint she stands her ground but um i don't know where she's going uh overall but um hold on a second david is that you sir tapping in um good evening david hey star how's it going good to see you man reintroduce yourself for those who don't know who you are uh, my name is David de Cordova. I'm from Toronto, Ontario, in Canada, and uh, just tuning into the Star Report tonight. Also, a sponsor. Sponsor. Uh, I wrote yes. two books that I that I promote on the Star platform. So it's in the community section. It's decoded the Bible explained, and then decoded part two, the secrets of the Lord. So okay. I've just been promoting my message here on the Star Show. Yeah, S stay with me, David. I do want to talk to you about uh, Putin. Uh, if he revealed that Jesus was black, uh, but now uh, let me just go back to, uh, uh, for a second. Florida boy, Jay, I got your text. Uh, send send your 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 homie the link if he wants to chime up. Okay. Um, also, with regards to Candace Owens, Florida boy, Jay. So, what other black media has she done other than Joe Budden, 
uh, the Breakfast Club. What, what what am I missing? Um, I'll go ahead and try to pull up the rest of them. But what really what she's really doing right now is she is pivoting herself to be the face of Black conservatism of this new election. She is being the front runner. I know we have a lot of other Black conservatives who are trying to get the Trump bandwagon. What she is doing is rebranding, in my eyes, and redefining what it is to be a black conservative, a modern black conservative. And do you have a problem with that personally? You. She is you about to be next up. When I say next up, I'm not saying she's going to be vice president, president. Not okay, guys, 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 we, we, we have some time. Echo, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, hang black on. Black people have tried to do Somebody tell him to hang on. Yeah, we, we got an echo or something going on in the background, Flo Boy Jim. I'm trying to trying to talk. You can't hear me. Are we good? No, no, we're not. <laughs> we we got some crazy noise in the background. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Flo Boy J? Okay, he can't hear me. Oh, shit. Call, call back in. Call back in. Um, Bro. hold on a second. Uh, J Doug, how are you, man? Okay, are you in the same room with Florida Boy Jay? You in the same room? Yes, we 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 try to get right now. Right now, working. Can you guys fix whatever you're doing? Because I I can't kill the vibe. Can you guys fix fix the? Can you take me off screen? Take me off screen, please. It sounds crazy. Please don't kill the vibe. Please, please don't kill the vibe. All right, we're talking about Candace Owens. Uh, David, any thoughts do you care? Candace Owens, and then we'll come back to Putin. And also, I have to ask the question at some point. Is the black woman God? Uh, David, any thoughts? Candace Owens, let go. Um, uh, we'll just be, ben Shapiro. It's just going to be interesting how she gets out of this one. That's all. Because it seems like she got herself in a, in a tight situation. I know there's some other uh, people in the media who are very much against her at this particular time. So... It's gonna be it's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be very difficult for her to to get out of this. So we just have to wait as the situation unfolds itself. Okay. Um, I don't have all the details. I did not watch Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I saw a couple of little clips here and there, but the, for the most part, what the two of them was doing what was a little contrived to me. Um, I don't have issue with either one of them, and I don't have an issue with her now pivoting, as Florida Boy J was saying. Florida Boy J, are you back? So did you fix your audio? Florida Boy J. No, he did not. He's frozen, and his screen is, is not working. But um, let me bring Rory on. White Boy Rory. Hello. <laughs> good to see you, man. What's cracking? What's shaking? Now we rolling. It's good. Uh, we're a little messy tonight. We're a little messy. We're, we're jumping around. Um, Kobe Bryant. You want to talk about Kobe's father selling the ring? Start there. Yeah, I mean, uh, Kobe's parents have been uh, racist black people, racist black Americans um, since he was, you know, 17, uh, 17 18 years old. Um, he he married a girl uh, who was a young girl out of high school. Um, there was nothing wrong with her. You know, she was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and only that her background was uh, Hispanic, you know, um, they had an issue with that. They they never they never shied away from that. They said that that was the reason that uh, they didn't talk to their son for 20 years because he married a Lat Latino, you know. So they're disgraceful people. Um, for them to sell his memorabilia, being their dead son, it's not something uh, that, that that's surprising. They were disgraceful people 25 years ago, and they're disgraceful people now. You know? Yeah. Okay, okay. Rory, let me ask you something. Would you be yeah. cool with a black dude marrying your daughter? I'd be fine with a black dude marrying my daughter, as long as he was a man. Uh, I wouldn't give it. I, I really wouldn't care. Uh, about any of that. I would rather have a, a decent black guy marry my daughter than a meth head white guy, you know, uh, who, who who ruins her life. 
You know what I'm saying? But you're the one, you're the guy that's hooked up on race. You're the guy who didn't know what FBA meant. You thought it was a gay organization until you came on this show. So um, let's not act like you're some sort of cool. Hey, you're the same guy who said you wouldn't live around black people because you don't, you can't have nothing good around black people. That's why you live in a white that. neighborhood. Ain't you the same guy who said that? Ain't you the same guy who he said that? Say that. He did say that. Did say that, You're the same guy that says that a transsexual woman is actually a woman. So what do you say? I, I've never said that. I you never said that. It. You, you just did. make stuff up because you no, know what I see you a bunch of whole lights in. The reason I don't like this guy, the reason I don't like this this guy is because he acts like a tough guy and he goes into the comments section. He talk about what he's gonna do to my mom. He knows uh he knows where mom lives, he knows where I live. If you got an issue with me, gangster love, I gave you my address. I literally you gave, you, gave you my address. And I will whip the black off your ass if you come around me. Okay. I'm telling you that to your face, man. I'm telling you, I don't like you. And I'm going to beat the shit out of you when I see you. Get, you can't afford a bus ticket to New York City? Obviously not. You're in a closet, oh, bro. You regulated to a closet. It, it sounds in good. prison is living better than you. Black dudes in prison is living better than you. You're not even in a six by nine. You in a little last closet. You punk. Your wife got you in a closet. You punk. Hey, you was a whole take, punk, man. Did you take your Why don't your wife slap the back of your head when she feel like it? You still got them unisex sunglasses on, don't you? I'm gonna keep them on. Yeah, you already know. But like yeah, I said, I man, know. you, you I the know. same dude. You the same dude that says that hey, you would be cool with your daughter uh, marrying a black dude, but you be on the Star Report calling people niggas. You yeah. use more racial slurs. Well, than some anybody. of you are. Well, some of you are. Fuck you talking about? You act like I'm gonna back down from that. Some of you are. What you want me to say? You want me to lie? You want me to not be truthful? Nah, I just asked your opinion. Well, now a lot you of black that. people are the N-word, man. You want okay. me to say the word? That's what you want? So people get mad? Nah, you say what you want to oh, say. Okay. So what So what happens when white people want their daughters to marry only white people? What you think about them? Are they racist too? I think they, they cool as hell. I think they want to keep the bloodline going. I think they're proud of their family. I think they're proud of their background. I think they want to stay German. I think they want to stay Italian. I think they want to stay Irish. I think black people that only want to marry black people, that's cool. But that's not up for your parents to say. That's not up for your parents. That's up for you to say. That's up for you to say. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. Tomato, okay. tomato. Well, hang, hang now you're a fake ass Muslim, right? I want to try. That's right, guys. Guys, I want to try to stay on topic. Hold on a second. Florida boy like Jay, you, stay there. Stay there. Florida boy Jay, did you fix your audio? What's cracking with you, man? FBJ. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But but now listen, man. You 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 got player? conversations going with people in the room. That's bleeding through. We tried to bring somebody else on, and and the two of you cannot be in the same room with with the echo and the headsets. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Now uh, I w I want to bring your homie back on. Is it Jay Doug? Yeah, he's on a different. Yeah, I'm gonna be telling the okay, tell Jay Doug sit tight so that we can get through some of these uh, uh, topics and conversations. Okay, okay. Um, Gangs of Love, uh, I'm going to move you out because you've been on for a while. Uh, then I'm going to bring somebody else in. Anything else you want to mention, Gangs of Love, before I uh, move the screen around? No, Star, I appreciate you for letting me come on for 20 minutes, man. You know I'm a troll baby for life. Yeah. Hey, salute to everybody. Y'all have a good night. You a troll sucker. You a whole sucker. Hey, Rory, if you let me see your teeth, I'll send you a whole bottle of this right now. L hey. Let's see your teeth. Show me your teeth right now. I bet you ain't got no teeth. What you want to see my teeth for? You want to see my ass too? You want to see my <laughs> ass? You want to see my teeth? You want to see my six pack? You want to see my six pack? Oh, I know. You're looking for men, right? <laughs> Fuck out of here. This guy, this cat is so corny, man. 28th and lame. Total lame. What? what you want? Penn Station, 28th and what? What's the street again? 
the, 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 yo, you, I already gave it to you. You just, you just Thank said you it. Man. You're in my hood. You just it? said. There you go. That's Why proof I gave the dude the address. That's proof I gave the dude the address. You can't even afford a bus ticket, G. You no, can't no. even afford a bus ticket, okay. man. All right, guys. All right, to love. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. All right, salute. Love. Okay. He Ain't nobody me. saluting you, girl. Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Floor Boy J, you're going live tonight. What's cracking with you? Yes, sir. We are going live. We're going to be talking about Candace Owens getting fired and re, uh, branding herself as the spook who sat by the door. Mm. And Star, I don't know if you've been paying attention the last 24 hours. Um, Future dropped his long awaited album, Metro Boomin'. And his low key, uh, uh, a bunch of Drake disses. Kendrick came at Drake and J. Cole, said, F them light skinned niggas. Mm. Uh, uh, Future. <laughs> um, it's been a bunch of hip hop talk between that Kendrick Lamar verse, the shots he took at Drake and J. Cole, if they're going to respond, who doesn't need to respond. And regardless if you like the album or not, the conversation about hip hop, the goats, and the bars right now, especially on the X or Twitter, is at an all time high. So if you're a hip hop head, okay, okay. you got to hop in the conversation. Well, listen, I, I don't mean to cut you short, man. Let, let, let's let's revisit that. I'm, I'm really not interested in Future's new album, to be honest with you. But um, I'm going to bring Jay Doug on. Um, can, can you sit there, stay there, Floor Boy Jay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And let me know when you have to go to go live. All right. For Jay sure. Jay Doug, good evening, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, m much better, man. It sounded crazy earlier. So okay. who are you, sir? Introduce yourself. Well, I'm Jay Doug. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, a local comedian, up and coming. Um, I've been been producing Jay. Doug, um, I'm sorry about that. I've been producing Florida Boy Jay's show for about a year and, and a half coming up now. Perspectives and facts, and we just been getting it in. I also been co-hosting from him for about a year and a half. We've been getting it in. Okay, okay. So you're stand-up comedy, uh, or do you, uh, or you an internet uh, guy? When you say comedian, can you give us a little? No, bit? I'm from the mud. Stand-up comedy, on stage, ten toes down. Okay, I'm not finna be up here trying to do like 15 minute videos to try to make people laugh and stuff. I actually write jokes. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm an old school comedian. Do you, Do you have any jokes you you can uh, tell us? Oh, I do have some jokes I can tell right now. You want me to start hey, telling some stand-up comedy right now? Hey, tell us a joke. I'm I'm in I'm in the mood to laugh. Okay, okay. Uh here we go. Uh I grew up broke. Make some noise on the panel if you grew up bro. I know Star, you didn't grow up, bro. I know that. But I know some of us on here might have grew up. Oh damn, we ain't got no fully black people on the channel. But for the boy Jay, <laughs> for the boy Jay didn't grow up, bro. I grew up bro. I grew up broke to the point where we had to appreciate every single thing. Like me, I remember everything about my childhood because you had to appreciate everything. I remember my first piece of whole gum. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of half pieces, but never a whole piece. When you broke, you know your mom used to take that piece of gum and break it in half because she wasn't going to give you a full piece of gum because you could waste it fucking around with you. I remember my first piece of whole gum. I chewed that shit for about six months. Yes. <laughs> well, well, now, hang, hang on a second. I'm... I'm Maybe my um, understanding of a joke is a little different. Like a joke is like something like if I were to say to you, mm -hmm. what do you say to a Puerto Rican in a three-piece suit? Oh, I see what you said. That's more like Red Fox style. I'm talking about like more well, modern. That, that's actually a joke. Up. I don't know jokes. I'm, I'm not a comedian. But mm -hmm. what would you say to a Puerto Rican in a three-piece suit? I heard you tell this before. I don't know. Will the defendant please rise? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you talk about that type. You talk about a one-liner. Yeah, that's called a one-liner. Like that. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a one-liner. Nah, I mean, I don't really tell Joe like that. My my jokes is more dragged out long. Gotcha. So you corny. Enough and of that. Corny. Corny. It's nothing that's more corny than a white guy sitting up here saying nigga. Like my man no, said, ain't nobody shut the hell for If you got money, you the if you got money, never you the hell for Look at him. Look at him running for the excuse. Look at him running for the excuse. I ain't got no excuse. I ain't got nothing to prove. I'm just saying, if you got money, show your <laughs> you team. You look like Whippy Goldberg. 
You look like a skinny Whoopi Goldberg. You look like a skinny Whoopi Goldberg. Get out of here, man. You saying nigga over and over. We know you ain't got no buddy. We know you ain't got no buddy. We know you ain't got no buddy. You look like a dusty black dude. We know you ain't got no buddy. You look broke as a white man. I'm not going to lie, bro. You like a broke white guy. That's the worst. That's the worst. Talking about my first guy. Guys, guys, guys. That's a whole new broke shit. Guys, guys, guys. It's Friday night. I'm gonna get back to the jokes if we can, rather than just back and forth. Okay, so so J Doug, do you have any like riddles or one liners? No, I don't have no one liners. I'm not gonna well, I do have some one liners that, but you know, it's different when you online telling Joe, you have to be in a stand-up comedy gotcha. club, you, you a stand-up like environment for gotcha. people prepare for jokes. People ready to people come on this show. To, for you to make them laugh in your way, you know what I mean. Far as like, if you no, were... no, no, listen, I'm, I'm just having a conversation. I'm not no, a comedian. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just explaining it to you. I'm, I'm not a different. comedian. I'm not. I'm, so I'm asking you if you yes. can entertain us. You said you're a comedian. I'm not. I don't know comedy like. I can entertain you with the jokes that I've written, and I got a lot of written jokes, okay. and I got a whole bunch. I got a, I can hold set. Now you go see a comedian. They got a 45 minute set. I would say I have a set that's set up for the club. Gotcha. But when it comes to like online entertainment, people are listening to you for a different reason for what they would if they were going to a comedy club. Right. You know what I mean? Right. right. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. So I, I mean, one line is cool, but not to say that like, oh, but that's kind of like the red. So pop he's not a comedian. What you said, man? Your dress look like you go. Your your dress look like they go through chemotherapy, man. You look like you take your dress to chemotherapy every three weeks. Hey, Fuck out of here. I'm trying to look good for the young. No, I'm not a comedian. I'm not trying to look good for no bro. I'm not a comedian either. <laughs> I'm trying to look good for some young women, bro. What are you talking Your about? Your dress look like they on stage for a Drake cancer. That's what that's, that's fine. Like. The, the whole like it. I ain't trying to look good for Everybody you. Everybody in your family about to say goodbye to your dress. Why you your know? upper lip so tight? Why your upper <laughs> lip so tight? What you hiding? Loose that upper lip. Your lip yeah. look like razor blades, white boy. Why you talking about to pitch me? No, I don't want to kiss you, motherfucker. You got gingivitis. Yeah. You need a deep clean. You need to get your wisdom tooth pulled. You need a. You need everything. You got your insurance lined up. You like nigga. You dress you look like they're about to go to critical. <laughs> they're about to go into critical nigga. condition. You're dressing. I see you. you. I'd rather be a black nigga. You might as well take them dreads off and just leave them in the uh, right. and I see I you. you enough for you, you Ori. You little predator ass. Your dress is in hospital. You, know, you like your black <laughs> man with wings in the head. You like black they should have contacted you three weeks and let you know your dreads is in hospice care. Everybody come around say goodbye to them dreads. They look like they're ready to I die. That shit look like a plant on your head. That looks like a plant like that hasn't been watered. Yeah, like your dress look like a plant that hasn't been watered in three weeks in the desert. Them you shit's dying. Them people, your dress is frowning, bro. Them shit's just dying. They going towards the ground. I'm not, I'm not laughing at anyone, by the way. I don't, I'm not laughing at any of y'all, so I don't want anyone coming after me because I got a whole head full of gray hair, so I don't want nobody. I said, Rory got a ball spot. Let me see that ball spot, Rory. <laughs> and nobody got no L. Oh, L. Oh. L. You want really? somebody? Oh, a full head of hair. Now you feel stupid, dread. Now you feel stupid, right? With your chemo for dread, with yeah, your stage four dread cancer. My man got stage four dread cancer. They put him in hospice three and a half weeks ago. It's so family. Can't buy take a body that dreads. That shit's still alive. Smile. <laughs> Damn, Rory. Don't smile. Rory, them your teeth, bro. Okay, okay, okay. All right, um, guys, everybody, never stop me from getting busy. guys, guys, oh, hold on, never stop me from getting busy. Please hold on, hold on, uh, David. Uh, you and I were supposed to, um, uh, I can't do it, of course, this week, the week is over, but uh, I want to circle back and you and I talk about the Ethiopian Bible next week, yeah. However, however, mm -hmm. I would like to get your take, uh, mm -hmm. on Putin. Uh, in my community section, there's a video with him and um, in Russia bringing out 
artwork with respect to the Israelites and alluding to uh, Jesus being a black man of sorts. Can you speak to that, David? Guys, let David speak, please. Okay, cool. So basically, uh, the, the other caller that called in, just to respond to, to him, uh, I don't want any smoke. I'm just saying. I, I don't think you need to respond to him. I just want to hear what you, what you think. What you if think. it's a huge L to the Jewish community because they, they release these pictures of darker skin uh, Jews or uh, these depictions of the ancient Jews being black. I think it's common knowledge within the Jewish community that the original Hebrews are a darker skinned uh, people. Uh, they've spoken on this before, so it's not like a huge shock. I think it's common knowledge. They've they've acknowledged the fact that the the, the Jews are are darker. So for him to release these relics or these pictures, maybe it's a shock to the world or other people. But I don't think it's a shock to the Jewish community. I think it's common knowledge. Okay. How, however, we're talking about a president mm -hmm. of a of a nation, you know, such as. Russia. Mm. Um, so whether it's common knowledge or not to um, different people under the umbrella of Judaism, you know, mm. um, this is different now. Yes, this is a president uh, opening up the quote unquote vaults yeah. and 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 they're using the word truth. They're mm. using these words. This is not me adding sauce to this. So this is another level. If you ask me, am I wrong? No, because like if it's an attempt, I don't know his intentions or his motives, but if it's an attempt to like delegitimize the current uh, Jewish people to say, oh, this is what the original ones look like. Ashkenazis. So so you must be to to not authentic okay. if that's the motive, if that's the intention. But okay. like I said, yeah. it's it's common knowledge to them. They'd have to speak out on uh, about the situation because... Well, what what about Darren Mikasha? What about the rest of the world who who will oh, never man. take the words <clears throat> and, and and the artwork as truth if a black person reveals it? You and I could sit here and speak about it until we fucking uh, our mouths are dry. Nobody nobody will believe us. Well, that's what Malcolm X said. Oh, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Putin is now saying this. Yeah. If you ask me, this is a big deal. Definitely, I'd say so because it's it's for the world to see, right? Yeah. He's putting out there on display yeah. to say that hey, it's the melanated people, darker skinned people that are the ancient original Hebrews of the Bible, and maybe the the world needs to see that. Before you go, before you go, can I ask you to speak to because you're a knowledgeable man, you, you're you're an author, you're, you're um. You, you, you do great research, and, and I love your execution. Can you speak to exactly what he is showing and, and saying to, in layman's terms? For those who are not going to go research, they're not going to go do any digging. They don't know about certain uh, 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 Talmud and other things. What exactly is Putin rolling out, if you will? You want my honest opinion? What I, what I believe, I think that with the current state of the world and what's going on in, in that particular area in the world, I think by at this particular time for him to release these pictures showing, oh, this is what the original Jews look like. I kind of think it's like to delegitimize or inauthenticate the people currently that we know as Jewish people. So I think that, could be the intention or his motive to say, hey, look at this. Let me release the, the, the box now. Let me show you all these pictures. Black Jesus, dark skin uh, uh, or, um, disciples, Mary, all this. And we're all like, oh, wow, shocked and shocked. Because to say that way, our brain says, wait a minute. When we look at the, t the television, we're seeing the people that are purportedly that are supposed to be the Jews. And then you release these pictures and like, who is this? What's this? So I think I think this is a chess move. And yeah. I don't know what his intent. Well, I, I think I have an idea what his intentions are, but I don't know how this is going to play out and what he yeah. may or may not be planning to to let other people come to Russia and, and to build up the military. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I think it's a brilliant chess move. Finish up, David, and and let's uh, get you back on the platform yeah. next week early, man. Please. I think it's I think it's a big win for the Hebrew Israelite community because I'm sure this goes in the line with their doctrine, their teaching. So they're probably celebrating this because this helps authenticate their message that the original people of the Bible are, are black people. And, you know, they, they have a strong position, a strong claim. But I just want to say this. Let's say the original people are black. That doesn't necessarily mean you can't have a people later on that don't come from them. Right. They could have easily started out black and right. became white over right. time through race mixing time. and intermarriage. So mm -hmm. just to drop that, but... Okay, okay. Hey, man, I appreciate you. Your banner will be on the screen as soon as we finish up, or I'll even try and get it in uh, within the break, man. Uh, let, let's continue talking, and, and let's have that conversation next week. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thank you, David. All right, signing off. Thank yes, you. Appreciate okay. It. David tapping in. Okay, okay, okay. Florida boy, Jay, um, I don't want to hold you and, and, and Jay Doug up, but um, you guys are going live tonight, the two of you together? Absolutely. Uh, episode 107 of Perspectives, Perspectives and Facts podcast. We're going to be going live. Uh, today is my birthday. i um, 31. So, uh, thank oh, happy God birthday, for, uh, Appreciate happy it. Birthday, uh, thank man. God for let me see another 365 days under the sun. See, so we're going to go live, and I appreciate you letting me tap into this uh, yeah, to yeah. tonight's episode, man. J Jay, Doug, uh, do you want to add something? I'm, I'm not rushing you off, man. I just I want to I want to. I want to know what it is that uh, we should know about you. you you're holding Florida boy Jay down. I, I respect him a lot, man. What is it that we need to know about you, sir? Jay Doug. I mean, he's not much to know. I'd be online trolling. You know, having but... trouble hearing you. Having trouble hearing you, Jay Doug. Oh, it's not much to. It's not. I gotta turn my mic off. It's not much to know, but you know, I just be holding Floyd boy Jay down. I'd be on the line trolling, doing my thing. I'm a lone supporter. Of right. you, I'm not. You know, I send you a couple, couple of dollars. You, you know, la, 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 la. but Thank you know, you. I send you a couple of bucks. You know, and I didn't want to tap in and you know be a part of the party tonight while we're sitting here. You know, waiting for you and Florida boy Jay get do his thing. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, well listen, man. I I appreciate you you tapping in. I appreciate your support, and you guys keep me posted with regards to whatever it is I can do uh, uh to show that that support in return. <laughs> we appreciate it. Okay. Why you look broke in Haiti? You look like a broke dude from Haiti. <laughs> you look like a broke dude. You look like you from live from Haiti. <laughs> oh, when last time you been to the dentist? You haven't seen a bar shop in a year. When last time you been to the dentist, Rory? My man needs some cocoa butter oh, some see, new or something. I don't know. Why they Yo, call you Mitch Mouse Rory? Happy birthday, man. I hope this next year is good oh, for you. you. Wish. No wish, no nigga, no happy birthday. Appreciate Why it, they calling you Mel Mouth Rory? You don't I, th I, 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 I think uh I think oh, I think Florida Boy J. I think Florida Boy J cool. I think he deserves it. What? I, I see your teeth. You should have stopped doing drugs in 91 like star. My man, I live, in a, I, I live in a million dollar spot. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to get another house. You know, you look like you look like you just ate some mud cookies in Haiti. You got me. You look like you in Haiti, man. You ain't got no property. Your dreads are oh goddamn. Your dreads is dying, man. You need to water your dreads. That's what you need to do. You need to water your dreads and sit in the sun. What are your dreads to sit in the sun? That's what yeah, you need to do. about my dreads, because ain't no man going to be playing in my head. That looks like a plant you on your head. Like that looks like a dead plant. I that looks like guys, your head is guys, dying. Guys, 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 hold on a second. Florida Boy J, before yes, you sir. go, I have to ask you this. Theoretically speaking, theoretically speaking, is the black woman God? Hell, though. Rory, hold on, fall back, Roy, fall back, fall back. Why does she have the ability to ruin your, your day, your week, your life, but at the same time have the ability to make it all right? I, I don't want to get into the details, but uh, something happened today. A black woman just, she corrected a situation. I'm on the phone. I'm talking to somebody else, uh, more than likely, who was in fucking Calcutta, you know, sharing a bowl of milk with a fucking rat. She's reading 
a goddamn script to me and telling me I need to send a letter, yada, yada, yada. I hung up on her. I called this other number. Again, I can't give you guys too much details. I got a, a, a mammy on the phone. I said, oh, shit, she's going to fucking put me through hell and high water. And within less than a minute and a half, she rectified this situation. And she said, I got you. And I said, holy shit. <laughs> Florida Boy I'm asking you this because you tend to go back and forth respectfully. You're, you're yeah. always, always got a pink toe on your arm, but you big up oh. the black. Yeah, yeah. But you big up the black women. So it, theoretically speaking, is the black woman got hated, uh, but at the I, same time, she has this ability to just make it all right. So uh, Florida boy, Jay, me personally, the black woman is not God. Absolutely not. It's too much low vibrational degenerate behavior. The black woman displays on a regular constant basis to ever compare her to the perfection. That is the idea of God or Lord and Savior, Alpha and I Omega. Said, the theoretically speak, I don't mean like, you know, created everything in the universe. No, that's not what I'm saying. No, she's not. There's no. There's nothing that the black woman does that is comparative to God or to a God. She is not God. I don't have a a, a leather kufi on right now. Um, I love black women. I love all women. But I will say I'll be the first nigga to let y'all know the black woman isn't God. And you niggas who believe the black woman is God are the same niggas on child support getting finessed and extorted by said black woman in the lace front with the uh, iris and brace up under Stop them. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Niggas talk all that hot shit about the, mm. the, the, these hoes ain't shit, yada, 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 but they're steady putting babies up in black women. The, the most funkiest, knock-kneed, uh, uh, peasy-head black woman has got three or four kids. Somebody's busting off inside that coochie. Now, again, I don't mean she's created the fucking stars and the... the <laughs> The stratosphere and the Kuiper belt. That's not what I'm saying. But there's something about her that just makes us angry, hates her. But at the same time, there's just, she's got some type, of, I'll even say black girl magic at times. <laughs> Can I answer that, Star? Please jump in. I would say black women are God, but they just not the God above, they're the God below. And <laughs> Black women, you could tell that they just most, not all, but most are just evil. Look at what they done done to the black community. They've been the leaders of the black community probably for the last 50 something years. Look what they done done to the black children. Just look what they produce. And you could tell that they're the devil, not God, but not all, but, but you have that certain segment of black community that continue to enable and promote and encourage the destruction that we have seen, which is the black community at this point. Can I jump in, sir? We're having a good conversation. Now. Maybe we'll just keep this going for a minute. I will even say that Caucasian women have more devilish behavior and they can be more deviant and destructive and, and they know that they can fuck up your life. That's why you have these Karens that, that will call 911 and say, I think he has a gun. Or, or, you know, not even hundreds of years ago, can lie, watch you get strung up, castrated, your fucking balls put in your mouth before you die, and then you're set on fire. Now mm. again... I'm the objective hater asking, not pandering, not pandering, because I stay on a black bitch's neck. But the question, theoretically speaking, what is it about them Th that where they can do something again to piss you to fuck off, but then turn around and, and make it all right? That goddamn mammy today rectified his situation, and I can't talk about it for business reasons, but I said, holy shit. My weekend is going to be lovely because of a fucking mammy. You have the floor, sir. Jay Black Jones. women have game. White women don't got no game. 
Black women have game. They know how to slither and snake and make you feel good, then make you feel bad, then make you feel good again. So you can't never really know the white women. You you could you could you could see a Karen from a mile away, easy. But these black women, they know how to make you feel good. You could be a broke ass nigga. They gonna make you how to make you feel like the man. You gonna be the man of the house. But then they know, okay, it's time to tear this nigga back down. They build you up to tear you down, man. This what it is. Rory, your thoughts. We're having a good conversation about this. Rory, your thoughts. Not only do I think his uh, dreads got, you know, uh, stage four chemo, I think he's gay. You know, he don't know what he's talking about. He, he's you know, it's a black dude hating on black women. Come on, man. It, looking at him, you know, the only thing he could get is like a busted-ass black girl. So if he don't like big black women or busted black girls, then that's too gay. He ain't get no white girl. girl. He ain't get no white girl. Post your girl. I will post my girl. J. Doug, let him speak. We let you speak. J. Doug, let him speak, please. Yeah, Robbie. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm not really good. I I really don't want to bang our homeboy too bad. I don't know him. Um. But he opened himself up when he started talking to me. You need to get some dread, some sun, and some water on the dreads. Let them shits grow. Stand by the I window cool like eight wow. hours a day or something like that. But yeah. them things look like they dying, man. Look like you're so, okay. you look like you got a okay. dead okay. plant okay. on your head. That's what it looks like, a dead plant on your head. Okay, all right. Go to boy Jay. Not that you have to see it my way. And listen, I've, I've been kicking in Mammy's back for for – a long time, and I will continue. But I, I am man enough to say that two mammies, uh, in theory, two pieced me this week and killed me with kindness. Two of them, and I said, "Holy shit!" Florida boy J, I'll let you finish up this conversation. Yeah, a uh, actual a uh, mammy married to a white man left me a very nice note on my door because you know I've been out of town in Los Angeles and uh in Vegas, left me a really nice note on my door with a card on it, basically saying, hey, we haven't seen you in the green camera. Just want to make sure you're okay. So, yes, just like Jay Doug said, the, the, the mammy can charm and disarm, but right. never let your guard down mm. and forget that a right. nigga right. is still a nigga, and it takes a nigga to know a nigga. I and like that. She can charm and disarm, but don't let your guard down. That that That's your uh, philosophy, Jay Doug? I can I can co-sign that a hundred percent. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and we do all niggas. We on the same, pretty much the same way. And I'm not trying to kick black women back in, but you know it is what it is. Well, I have kicked their backs in, and I will continue. But I'm man enough to give props where props should do. And I mean, just you know, just someone to ask that question. Hey guys, I'm gonna let that to both of you go. So you can go start your show, Photo Boy J. Um, uh, in what what time are you going live? Uh, probably about like you know. You know, 15, 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We're gonna watch a little bit of you get everything set up and you know, let okay. let your stream cook because you know you got the block right now, OG. You got the block, you got it, you gotta hey, shut I'm down right now. No let, let, we need to clear out we not going to work. Jay Doug and Rory, you guys okay, or do I let you guys finish up? Yo, we cool. Yo, we cool. Yo, we cool. But just hit me in the back channel. I got a couple of dentists. I got some dentists in my family. You can hit up, <laughs> you can you can get that. That bullshit out your mouth, <laughs> and you be good. Yo, you, know what I mean? real. I, you said you got money. Don't get real. You said you got money. You said you got money. Shouldn't be no problem. I'm trying to hook you up. Don't be no, a bear. Trying to get yourself. My shit is real. I'm yeah. good. I was married. I got girls coming to the we crib. It's not like you. We it's not I like you. Real right. You don't really? like black women. You don't like white Rory. women. You don't, don't like any type of women, worry, man. Worry. I know you your mouth is I know you taste you your own mouth. You look like I'm some broke okay. Asian. My man, you don't stand by the window for eight hours a day. Put some water on your head. Worry. and okay. some sunlight on them dreads. Right. They dying, man. Right. You look like you dying. Salute. Nerd ass nigga. Okay, thank you. J. Doug, thank you, man. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Is the black woman God? <laughs> oh, my goodness. The war on mammies continues. Yes, it does. And again, yeah. I can't get too much detail, but holy shit. Today, she she said, oh, I got you. I'll, I'll take care. I said, what the fuck? Because, the, again, the goddamn woman from 
another part of the world. Oh, you 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 have to write a letter and uh, get get something. What did she say? Notarize, notarize the fuck. Anyway, um, Rory, before I let you go, man, anything else you want to mention or talk about, my boy Rory? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the topic, um, Putin. The topic of Putin. We don't have no problem with with Jesus being black. I don't think mo most of most white people don't have a problem with that. We don't have a problem with. Uh, if I went to the pearly white gates right now, and Jesus was like, "How you treated black people?" I said, I, I, "I was cool with them, but why you made them the people? They're, a lot of them were pain in the ass." That's what I would tell Jesus right to his face. If I went to the pearly gates, I swear on my life. If I went to the pearly gates and he was like, "Yo, how you?" My, my 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 people that I the pick that I picked the you know the special people uh were black people. How would you with black? I said me and black people were cool. I love black people. I'm cool with them. But why you pick them? Because a lot of them are shitheads. A lot of them are panty ass. I don't know why you picked them. Like I, where I come, I'm a black. I'm American, man. You gotcha. know we gotcha. had to deal with a lot of shit with them. And uh, but I love them and they're cool and I ain't got no beef with them. You can look at my life, how I treated them. I, you I, know, I, I, I want to say some things you didn't like, but I know I'm that you're treating no black hey, people hey, bad. Rory, Rory, my people. Rory, Rory, I know that you're sincere, and that's why when you and I talk behind the scenes quite often, I say, Hey man, listen, you don't have to put your foot on the gas, but so hard yeah, when you no show a lot of black people fuck with you. You know that. Oh, it's my people, man. You know, you that. know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm Irish. You can see that. Like we the we the white niggas of Europe, and when we came to this country, we have we share a lot of history in New York City. We we all lived together until like the seventies, like the late seventies. We all lived together. People in the Bronx know that. People in Brooklyn know that. People in Queens know that, and it goes back further than that. Um, so I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't have a problem if Jesus was black. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I would still pray to him, but, you know, I, it, does, it doesn't affect me. I don't have a problem okay. with that. Okay, you know? okay. Good to see you, man. We'll catch up tomorrow, I'm sure. All right, Star, man. Right, Be good. All right. White boy Rory. Okay, Friday night. <clears throat> We've been having a good discussion uh, about a few topics, mainly Kobe Bryant's father, uh, auctioning off his uh, championship ring from the 2000 season. Mind you, it's um, <clears throat> a replica. It's not the, the ring that Kobe was wearing. He ordered this ring for his father, you know, and whatever, you know, ha has prompted this. I don't know if it's money. Maybe the father just wants to move on. He's older. Uh, Kobe was the youngest of three kids. Okay, I don't know if Kobe's Older sisters are still alive, but I'm not just going to assume he's broke. You know, I mean, again, people who acquire things, memorabilia, that they get rid of it, they sell it. Listen, I throw shit away. Um, I sell some things. Uh, um, uh, what is it? Young Miami from the City Girl. She's been selling her clothes. Uh, Khloe Kardashian selling her clothes. Right. But uh, that's the main topic. If you guys want to chime in. OK. Now, um, Mark, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Let me uh, get area code 410 lined up. Uh, you're going to be next. Sit tight, 410. Thank you for waiting. Sit tight. Ready? Hang on. Hang on. Um, hold on. I'll get back to that call in a second. Uh, Nat, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. Uh, David, thank you for calling. Spirit, your banner will be, we'll have that Sunday, your new banner. Spirit, okay? And... Um, Shanice, I got your donation. Thank you so much. And forever, Marilyn. Yes, I, I know about uh, the Princess of Wales. She's got cancer. I wish her all the best. Thank you so much. Whew, 410, good evening. Are you there? Thank you for your patience. I'm here. Thank you. Good evening, Star. How you feeling? Hey, I'm good. Who's this? This is Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. Tiffany is the black woman god. <laughs> Absol absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the and the world is in chaos because they won't bow down and kiss the ring. Mm. Now, did you hear my long spiel about what happened with me this week? Two mammies killed me with kindness. And to I love it. Today I say, God damn, I, I can't give you the full details, 
but I'm sitting in my car and I, I, I had to swallow my pride and dial this number. And there's more to the story, but yeah, theor theoretically speaking, what is it? Because men or males, when they're on top of a black woman, they can say, oh, oh this bitch ain't shit. And then they, they ejaculate anyway and help her create <laughs> life, right? Come on. Exactly. And plant the seeds of the earth as we see. Mm. And it, it, it's, it's ironic. Uh, so many men up on the panel tonight, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Right. But you, in fact, came from the black woman. All life did. You came from the black woman. All life all, did. All life. All life did. All life did. And I and I called in um to discuss about animal lovers and okay. you know okay. how important they are to our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say uh that it shows a, a level of commitment and compassion and they ask for very little. Just that we love them mm -hmm. and they will fire Follow, follow us into a fire mm -hmm. and when people uh don't have animals or they aren't dog lovers uh, it raises flags for me me too it, me too it, yeah it, it raises flags also how animals react around certain people mm -hmm. and when things are changing it they 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 they're they're gods they're spiritual gods with us here mm -hmm. on earth and I think that's just so amazing about um, dogs in general. You look at uh, people like Oprah. She's leaving her entire will basically behind for our Cocker Spaniel. I'm just, just, just for example. Well, she she used to have two. Gonna... She used to have two little white dogs, didn't she? <laughs> two little white dogs. She has like a whole. She yeah, she has like a whole pack of Cocker Spaniels. Oh, I okay. can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that that that's our that's our that's our breed of choice. Everybody who uh who has a a certain thing for dogs, they all have a favorite breed. I come to find out, but I just want to encourage everyone to visit your local SPCA okay. and find the right right forever home for our furry friends. I'm not going to hold you. No, no, st stay um, with uh, uh, stay with me because uh, I appreciate what you just said. However. I'm coming from a different perspective. I'm coming from maybe it's not such a nice place, but um, I, I have always put my pets above family, friends. I've dated, I, I've dated girls. If a girl had a problem with, with one of my chihuahuas, bitch, fuck you. You won't come here. No, <laughs> you won't come here no more, bitch. That, yep. That dog, that dog right there eats eats uh good food. I cook the food. I saute the goddamn food. I will broil the fucking steak. If I'm out at a high end restaurant, I will order an extra fucking three four steaks oh. to take home to my dogs. I used to have five teacup chihuahuas. I don't know if you know that, but um. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, doggy dog doggy bags, literally. One of them had puppies, and I didn't have the heart to give away the puppies, so I kept all three puppies. And the two <laughs> for seventeen. That's how it goes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so my question. And it, and it's, it, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, and it, and it, and that's the thing is that we we know that ultimately we have to part ways at some point, right. With them, but 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 the the relationship and the bond that they give us is forever in our hearts, and um and that's what I love about yeah. about them. I've had associates who needed to borrow, I don't know, $1,500. Uh, it, it was a, an emergency, something to do with the goddamn the bondsman. And, and yeah, the bondsman and his son, they only had 20 minutes to get the money up. And I, I, said, I said, I'll call you right. I'll call you right back. I kept walking my dog at the fucking dog park. The dog was having fun with other dogs. Fuck out of here. Exactly. Exactly. That's I'm not I rushing to Western Union, right. Money Graham, or whatever the fuck it was. It was just like 15 years ago. You know, yeah. To, to help you to break I, to I, break my dog's peace and happiness. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I've, 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 spent my, I've spent my last. I spent my last right. <laughs> on, you know, at the vet. And we know those vet bills are astronomical. Right. You know, pet, right. pet insurance is a, is a is a whole. Uh, you know, you know how that goes, but 
it's, it's worth every dime. You know what I mean? People, people plan. will give away, will give away, you know, will sell the memorabilia mm-hmm. <laughs> to save yeah. Fluffy, to save, you know, your, your, your dog's, your dog's life. Mm-hmm. And that's just facts. And, okay. and it's also a way of bringing us together. You ever notice that people universally, you know, can talk about dogs, mm-hmm. dogs and football. I, I, I love cats too. I, I like cats. I've, I've become more of a cat lover uh, in my latter years. Uh, I didn't have cats growing up, you know, but uh, I, I've learned to appreciate right. cats as well. But um, well, I'm I'm a, I'm a cat lover as okay. well. Um, okay. My my grandmother, uh, she would have them. I watched them being born, you know, on the comforters. Uh, we used to walk the cats with harnesses before that was even a thing. Oh wow! wow. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I just encourage everyone, if you don't have a dog or have never had one and yeah. you don't have kids, uh, go 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 adopt a forever home, Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. For, our, for our friends. So, well, well listen, I, you I, know, I, I, I want to I, I ask you before you go, pardon me. Now, you are a black woman. Yes, I am. OK. Um, now, now, there is a attitude, a disposition, if you will, that uh, many. Not all. Many black women have. And, you know, that attitude is is something I don't deal with too often. I'm I'm known for hanging up on black women. I'll keep it so real. If if I detect that that attitude and I'm on the phone with you, click, get you the fuck up out of there. But today the sassiness. The sass, yeah, the sassiness. But but you know, I, listen, I, I enjoy the verbal jousting. It doesn't affect me to the point where my blood pressure goes up. I don't have high blood pressure, but but today, right. a black woman did something for me, and I, and my whole weekend is gonna be gonna be lovely because of what she did. So so you know, in theory, in theory, is the black woman God? Before you go, I'm still gonna stick to it and say absolutely, okay, okay. absolutely, will change your life in a heartbeat, change your life. Hate once you go black, you don't you don't go back, She's and we hate- all know that. She's hated too, right? Hated by other she, ethnicities. She, she's hated. Nationalities hated. She's hated. She's mm-hmm. she's envied. She's she's copied. She's often duplicated, but it's never the same. There's there's only one recipe, and and we all know that. And you either come from a love or hate relationship with the black woman as mother. That's where it all begins, and that's why a lot Mothers. of our men are. So mothers have creation. So my mother, time. my mother taught me. She said the black woman is a mother of creation. Okay. Absolutely, good woman. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I appreciate the call. Um, thank you so much. You have a great weekend. If I don't talk, you get all right. You do the same. Okay. Have a blessed one. Bless. Good night. Stay blessed, girl. Stay blessed. You are the last. <laughs> Timothy, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Lorna, I got your donation. Uh, J. Doug's jokes was Reggie, not mid. Nice try. Okay, well, check him out. He's on Florida Boy J's platform. I appreciate him, J. Doug. He supports this machine, and I want you guys to, to go check him out, okay? All right, anybody else? Are pets more precious than family? If not, we'll, we'll move on from that particular topic, okay? And let me say this again, uh, Candace Owens just fired from the Daily Wire, or maybe they just decided to part ways, uh, but supposedly Ben Shapiro didn't have the ability to fire her. She's being accused of uh, making anti-Semitic comments, yada, 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 I don't know, but um, um, or maybe she doesn't need a quote-unquote job. Maybe she's going to build out her platform. She's of that newer generation, and that's what I like about Uh, young people of today they're not thinking about uh you know a a plantation they're thinking how they can build out their own platforms you know anybody want to chime in anybody got any thoughts on candace owens being fired or whether she parted ways spirit i got your email thank you so much for tapping in i'll keep you posted spirit and uh Guys, you up to speed on um, Cesar Pena and his wife, Jen, a.k.a. Jenny Tips. Their lawyer quit on them. I have the information here. 
Stephen W. Uh, Griegel hereby certifies and as follows. I have the information. I was going to post this in my community section, and I said, oh, I'll get back to this next week. The lawyer quit. Um, without going into attorney forward slash client privileges and details, I've given them numerous warnings orally and in writing for at least three months that I intend to withdraw and that they needed to find new counsel. To date, this has not occurred and I cannot work for free. Can you see that? Tony the Closer has posted this, I'm sure. Uh, salute to Tony the Closer, but um, for those who care, okay? Let's keep the show going here. Friday night, area code 210, you're there. A few topics on the table. 210. Yes. What's up, Star? Hey, man, how are you? I want to tell you that uh, I really do uh, uh, agree with your idea that Candace may pivot. And she might do something on her own. She might say, you know what? I'm not messing with them small hats no more. She seems like somebody who can change her style, can become somebody else. We have an echo in the background, sir. Can you make the adjustments, please? Get an echo. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Go ahead. You were saying? Go ahead. Yeah, I really, I really believe that she can pivot because, you know, she started out a certain way and... She got out there and she learned what those folks was all about that she was working with around and what have you. And then she decided, you know what? I'm going back to my people. I really believe she's about to become pro-black. Hmm. Um, yes. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad at what you're saying. I think that she's smart, number one, you know. I don't think, yes. I don't think that she is necessarily uh, feels the need to, uh, and I could be wrong, I could be wrong, represent a certain group i think she more so like myself represents a certain class you know but i yeah i would just like to see in in some strange way her uh you know maybe do a deal with bet bet it works i know this i've been in the entertainment yeah. field for years long before radio i did research and marketing BET has a certain audience, and they want what they want. They, they don't want news. They, they don't want certain uh, political uh, shows. However, she is young enough, and she, she, she's a reader, you know. She, she, she's traveled. She's not, um, uh, she's not afraid to put boots to the ground to go do uh, on-location work. I think it would be kind of... Um, a good fit. Am I wrong? Yeah, she would fit right in. She would fit right in. I see where you're going with it. I like where you're going. Yeah. Just a new voice. Somebody that can capture audiences. Somebody that can stand her ground. Somebody that's not going to be pushed around. Very social media savvy. Unlike Angela Rye. Angela Rye, she was supposed to do some town hall thing and something with voting. It was so contrived and just, it was corny yeah you know and um i i and that's not to dump on her but uh i just i i didn't see that and and and, and tj holmes did, did you see tj holmes they tried him on bet as well <laughs> <laughs> epic failure <laughs> This was years ago. He, That's TJ Holmes on, on BET. <laughs> like, what, nigga, please? <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm just, I'm, just I'm, I'm thinking out loud. But go ahead and finish up, man. Please finish up. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Candace would be a perfect fit over there at Star on yeah. BET. She would really do her thing. I, I think that's a great idea. I'm the man with the plan. Thank you for your call, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. Love you, Daniel. Right. You are the streets got no love, so don't start that love shit. Can we get a petition going? A change.org petition? Bring Candace Owens to BET? Troll babies, can anybody uh reach out to me? Let's let's go there. Um, Spirit, I got you the donation. Thank you so much. 
Spirit says, Star, this was an awesome show. Me and my wife uh, were thoroughly entertained and enlightened. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. Rob Lowe, I got your donation. He says, Rory for the win. <laughs> um, what else? What else? And, and let me just say this, guys. You know, being fired sometimes is a great eye opener, you know? It's a great eye opener, you know. Call it what you want. Sometimes you just want to just want to get out of a certain place, you know. Um, Donovan, I got your donation. Which Donovan are you, sir? I've known a few over the years. Uh, okay, well, phone lines are open, sir. Right now, the number's on the screen. Okay, Florida Boy J should be live now or going live shortly. Go check him out on YouTube. He puts in work. He puts in work. I, I highly recommend you check him out if you're a, a younger person like you say. Okay. 1051 fam, I got your donation. He says, I'm riding with Candace. Young black girls should model themselves after her. Salute, Star. Okay, okay. Um, I did not watch her breakfast club interview and, and that's no disrespect to the breakfast club i just i find them to be the three stooges um 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 um, um. i i thought that them the takeaway clip i i guess that was the takeaway of her why did she marry a white guy i said what the fuck it's 2024 why is that even a question or why 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 is that the takeaway why is that the clip from her interview anybody want to expand on that why does she marry a white guy how about marry, marry who the fuck you, you connect with and who makes you happy <laughs> and i'm a i'm a baby boomer saying that i thought that that was just total uh idiotic um King of Radio. What's up, homie? Good to see you, man. C call in. Promote yourself. Glamour, how you been? I got your donation. Good to see you, man. Um, what else I want to put on the screen here before we call it a night here? And salute to um, Dope Man for tapping in. Um, Camille. Camille, are you out there? If not, I will promote you just the same. Okay. Let me get Camille's information on the screen. YouTube.com, folks, forward slash at Coffee Chat with Camille. Please go check out her page. She's been posting some really good content. Uh, she's working with editing and, and other things, and she's she's really on the come up, okay? Um, Barnell, I got your donation. Barnell, I am enjoying uh, North Carolina. I've, I've been to North Carolina many, many times over the years, um, but now living here, um, I, I like it. I like it. I've been having some um, uh, great drives in the morning, you know, if you care. Um, I do want to take a trip to Durham. I haven't been to Durham since, wow, since the 70s. <laughs> Um, but other than that, I am enjoying North Carolina. And, and let me just say this for those who, who know the difference. There is a difference in the people from North Carolina and Georgia. There is a difference. There's a different uh, way that they communicate, how they speak, acknowledge each other. This is more suiting to me. Georgia, in, in particular, the um, Atlanta metro area, used to be a beautiful place. They used to have a common thread of decency. They no longer have that. So thank you for your donation, but I'm, I'm really enjoying North Carolina. Um, area code 704. Good evening. Are you there? Late night, oh. 704. Hey, Star. Hey, who's this? Melissa. Hey, Melissa. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. I just wanted to tell you, um, welcome to North Carolina. Okay. Um, 
don't be shocked at the hospitality of the women here. We are not mammies. We love <laughs> men. Uh, we're sweethearts. We're Southern ma- bells. <laughs> we, we, we're just nice people uh, all around. Um, my sister, I have four sisters. Okay. One lives in Raleigh, one lives in Greensboro, okay. one lives in Winston-Salem. I actually got married in Winston-Salem, beautiful nice. um, Carolina Beach, mm-hmm. to be precise. Um, and, yeah, we're, we, we, we love it. It's, it's a good place to live. Okay, okay. Well, well, listen, I know North Carolina very, very well. I've done business here um, years ago, and I worked at the – record labels even before radio raleigh and charlotte and places like that so i've seen it develop um but now mammies are everywhere <laughs> and and i'm still <laughs> leading the war on mammies but um i i, I did get uh two nice uh, um it, it, this week two two black women were very nice to me so i'm, I'm a little <laughs> i'm a little off balance tonight but now i i will continue to keep my foot <laughs> On Mammy's neck, it doesn't mean that I'm looking at North Carolina women the same way I look at um, Atlanta women. Do you know the difference? Have you been to Atlanta? Absolutely. Uh, my cousin lives in Atlanta, mm-hmm. and she has been there for more than more than a decade, mm-hmm. and she has just become one of the ATL girls. She wants to party. She wants to go to the strip club. Mm-hmm. She wants to scam. She wants to date a scammer. She wants to drive a wow. scat. Yeah. And it's like, girl, calm down. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> calm down a little bit. <laughs> how, how old is she? Who am I uh, do you want some sweet tea? Um, she, my cousin is 32. She'll be 34 in July. She's at that age where those girls down there in, in their 20s, especially the 20s, 30s, up until 35, if you ask me, that that's their mindset. You know, they, they're just... Everything is turn up, turn up. We uh, girl, we up in Papa Do's and all, you know, all the, uh, 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 juicy crab and all that sort of shit. And 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 uh, it's ratchet. It's ratchet. That's the word. Yeah, my uh, our uncle uh, actually called me a couple of weeks ago, and he's like, uh, "Mel, have you spoke with uh, your sister?" And I'm like, uh, "Is everything okay?" He's just like, no, girl, she's lost in the sauce. <laughs> I'm like, duh, but we don't judge her, you know. Uh, whenever she's having a hard time in life, you know, with three kids and three baby fathers, we're like, mm-hmm. come home. Come home <laughs> because everything's better here, you know. The sun is better. The Everything is better. So, yeah. But Atlanta's cool. I've been to Atlanta to visit my cousin a couple of times. Um, the last time, yeah, she had like a bunch of guys over. I'm like, yo, you don't want to just Netflix and chill. Like it's a vibe, but, uh, it's cool. Well, let, let me just say this before, it's cool. before we go. And, and I appreciate your call. Um, if you ever get really concerned about her, go on list crawler or adult search and see if you find her. Oh, Jesus. You know what that well, is? You know what it is? Okay. No, I don't. I have no idea. Is that like back page? Are, are you in front of a computer right now? <laughs> uh, let me grab my laptop. <laughs> everybody, hold. Everybody, uh, hold on. It's Friday night. Hold on a second. Hold everybody. Nigga, start snitching. Oh God, sorry. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> well, listen. I mean, if you're concerned, you know, put a little, put a little leg. No, right we're not concerned. Oh, you're not okay. Well, then don't we're not worry. concerned. Well, then don't, don't worry about them. But you know, if if you ever get concerned, go to adultsearch.com. Go into Atlanta, you know, and and see if you see her there. You know, all right. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Star. I and again, it. welcome to North Carolina. You'll have you'll have a blast here. You'll have a blast. Well, I'm in Emerald Isle, and and there's nothing to do here. That's why I like it. So so no, there's no hanging out. There's no there's no clubs here. It's just very, very relaxed uh, uh, life I'm living. But thank you, darling. Yeah, it's slow. Thank you. Uh, uh, one more thing. Rory, I want to have your baby. I thought you were married. I am. 
Go bye. Go go bye. Bye. <laughs>